So humans aren't the only ones feeling the heat wave across the United States. What you just saw in this video is how squirrels respond to extreme heat. They spread out so that they can cool off. Uh, let's look at some more splooting in action. The New York City Parks Department said if you see a squirrel lying down like this, don't worry. It's just fine. On hot days, squirrels keep cool by splooting, stretching out on cool surfaces to reduce their body heat. It is sometimes referred to as heat dumping. So if you thought splooting was a weird word, I think it's preferential to the alternative. Uh, another person posting on Twitter saying hashtag splooting, the word you didn't know you needed until now, hashtag heat wave 2022. Another picture of a squirrel here, splooting as a reaction to extreme heat. If you've got a fur coat and you're stuck in 107 degree weather, you don't have a lot of options to cool down for squirrels and other furry mammals. Splooting is one of them. And of course, squirrels are not the only mammals to sploot. Since splooting is trending, I will grace your timelines with bandits first sploot. Then someone else tweets, can I say the F word, Drink? Yeah. All right, big deal. I do this after I get home from work every day, just splooting on my bed. So this is very cute. Splooting is cute. Climate change, however, is not. We're seeing animals laying out overheating. If you think about the homeless population in the United States, they are hot as well. People die of heat exhaustion every year. So Allison Hermans of Wild Care in San Rafael says that in addition to splooting related calls, wild care is seeing a major influx of young squirrels coming in with heat stroke this summer, as well as calls about hot deer and about birds literally falling on their sides, panting with the heat. Although squirrel splooting behavior isn't itself a problem, routine temperatures above 105 degrees definitely are. Jenk, do you it, sploot after the power panel? Uh, I try not to sploot. <laughs> Um, so, look, uh, for, uh, first of all, I'm going to disagree with you. So here we go. Good debate. Um, heat dumping, disastrous word, uh, but not nearly as bad as splooting. Um, I did not know what splooting was until today, so that's my confession. Uh, but uh, the minute I heard we were doing a story on splooting, I thought, uh-oh. Okay. I, I, I think it makes moist sound like a wholesome word. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm in favor of the action. I get it. The brother man's trying to cool off. We're all trying to cool off, right? Uh, but I just, we got to pick a different word. It's an absolute disaster. It's a debacle. Uh, and let's so focus on the important things, words. Uh, okay, For finally on the actual substance of the story, such as it is. Remember during the pandemic when the animals were so happy? Like we, when we were quarantined and like all the animals showed up and they just started running around everywhere. And they're like, yes, we're the humans, God, we're free, we're free, right? Now we're back, we're back to, and by the way, climate change had dipped at that point a tiny bit because we weren't out there driving cars, et cetera, right? Now we're back, we're burning up the planet again and the squirrels are like, oh God, now we got to go splooting again. And they spread out on the pavement. So, and, and then the, the one more thing is, we're always like amazed when animals act like us. <laughs> this is my war path lately, especially on the bonus episode. We are animals. So of course we're gonna do the same thing as squirrels. I'm like, they're like, oh, look at the squirrels spreading out and lying down to get cooler. Have you ever seen an, another human being in your life? Have you ever seen them on a couch? Have you ever seen them on a bed? Okay, of course, of course, we all do the same thing. And there's a scientific reason for it because you're spreading out the heat uh, and displacing it to a cooler uh, surface. You know, in the Lorax, when like things are going bad and all the animals are like lethargic and collapsing, it can be hard to imagine what the world looks like when we reach the point of having an inhabitable planet, but it's going to be animals splooting everywhere. Animals are going to just be dying of heat exhaustion all over the streets. This is exactly what it's going to look like. Yeah. But another funny uh, part of this, and they mean well, right? But is especially in the Bay Area where it doesn't usually get anywhere near this hot, right? So squirrels have probably been splooting in Houston for a long time. <laughs> it's probably Vegas is probably the splooting capital of the world. 
Uh, but in the Bay Area, it doesn't get to 105, right? So you remember Mark Twain's old quote, uh, the coldest winter he ever spent was a summer in San Francisco. Uh, but climate change is so bad, we're even splitting in San Francisco. So, um, so, but the reaction of the, the locals was hilarious. They're all calling like emergency hotlines. Look, there's a squirrel that's spread out all over the pavement. They're like, no, 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 it's okay. It's just splooting. Splooting, honey, it's splooting. It's worse than I thought. N no, 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 it's okay. It's, they're just trying to cool off like the rest of us. Sounds like classic San Francisco, right? Like the squirrels are laying down. This is terrible. But they walk past homeless people every day on their way to work that have been gentrified out of San Francisco because housing prices go up because of big tech. But they're very worried that squirrels are laying down. Also, why don't we just call it laying down? We don't have to make another word for it. The, the squirrel's laying down. That's fine. That covers it. And, and the squirrels are so cute and wholesome. Why'd you have to sploot them? <laughs> You just verbed it. <laughs> yeah, I think I made it worse. Yeah. Let's be honest. <laughs> I just blew the squirrels. It's too similar to other words, just like the iterations of our name combination. Yeah, well, I hear you on that too. Let's not get back into that.